Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Cancer, for those of you guys that follow our Tarot Lessons 101, want to let you guys know that we're going back on schedule starting this Sunday. I apologize for the delay. We've been having a lot of shit to deal with. <laughs> But anyways, we also have the return of a lot of your favorite uh, ritualized soaps, so you can find all that on our online store. Anyways, let's get into your reading, Cancer. <clears throat> How are you doing, my lovelies? Hope you guys are doing amazing. Happy Valentine's for those of you guys that celebrate. How is this Venus retrograde treating you guys? It's really been affecting us um, on a grander scale. <laughs> A lot of people from the past popping out of the woodwork, as well as just waking up and deciding one day to completely go bald. Yes, that's what's been going on in my life. <laughs> it is in my sign of Capricorn. So, major changes there. Anyways, let's get into your reading. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, what's going on with cancers? Can you give us the messages? What can they expect for this month of February 2022? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, one more shuffle. Oh, we got cards flying out. All right, first card here. The general energy is that of the King of Pentacles. Maybe dealing with an Earth energy. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. For some of you guys, this is chasing the dream. Wanting to materialize or stabilize your finances and your career. Your next card here is the Ten of Wands. Of course, it's going to be, um, it's not going to be easy. Uh, Ten of Wands does indicate struggle, carrying a lot of burdens, a lot of stress, a lot of worries. And the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups does indicate communication coming through for some of you guys. All right, let's get into it. Three of Pentacles here with the Nine of Swords, Three of Wands. So you guys have two threes here. Two of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. Okay. I see you guys putting a lot of effort and a lot of energy and stabilizing your finances. For some of you guys, career moves uh, are going to be coming up in this month of February. For some of you guys, I see, I, I see you guys taking the opportunity to travel, perhaps a short trip. Could be connected to your career, could be connected to getting a better career or a better position, um, but it is going to take for you to make a decision. So I feel you guys being a bit in your head about this. For others of you, um, you may be experiencing a bit of restlessness at night, not being able to fully um, to fully be like have your eight hours of sleep or something like that. It's like I see you guys lying awake, uh, tossing and turning, and this is all to do with anxiousness, worry or stress about the future um the three of wands does indicate to me for some of you guys you may be dealing with a situation of wanting to hear from someone wanting to get a message now if you can see here the three of wands with the two of wands and the knight of wands they're both uh sorry not both the three of them are holding a staff and what's really standing out for me here is that it has um, white flowers on all the staffs here. So what this is indicating to me is I feel like you guys are trying to stabilize either a connection, a relationship, um, something that perhaps has been a bit stuck or a bit feeling like things haven't, haven't progressed the way you would hoped for cancer. However, that's quickly going to be changing. I see a lot of communication, a lot of messages. For a lot of you guys, this is messages about a career move. For others of you, this could be travel. This could be deciding to just get up and, you know, decide to move to a different country. Um, because this is all to do with expansion and it is fire energy. So this is taking action towards your goals, towards your aspirations. You have major momentum. You have the two, the three, and the page, um, and the page of wands. So again, this is about get out of your head, Cancer, for the month of February. Start executing what it is that you want, what it is that you're chasing, 
or what is it that you're trying to manifest into your life. Start writing down goals and aspirations and how you're going to make that happen. Because right now with this type of energy, this is momentum, but it's momentum that you need to really take advantage of right now um, to be able to fully go towards or achieving or manifesting or attaining. Now is the time to like, now is not the time to sit back and just wait things or wait on things to happen. No, what spirit is telling is you need to take action. Whatever this situation is that you're dealing with, whether it's going towards a new career, whether it's making a decision about moving, whether it's a decision about um, a relationship that has felt stuck or hasn't progressed the way you've wanted, are you really happy? Are you holding on to that because of what once was? Or are you holding on to it because they're showing you um though not as much as you would want, at least they're being consistent. Do you see what I'm saying? It's about realizing and deciding what it is that you want. Where are you at at this point in your life? And what is it that you're wanting to uh, go towards? Because now is the time to make that happen. Again, the nine of swords indicates a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, but this is more, more to do with mental stress. And what they're telling you is you need to start, you know, getting traction you got to get um you got to get going is what i'm hearing you got to make things happen stop procrastinating the month of february is not for procrastination cancer it's about making shit happen no excuses you know it's kind of like um it's kind of like that that energy of you know I want to I want to succeed, right? I want to get my business off the ground. I want to do this, I want to do that. But then your alarm clock goes off and you're like, "Well, I'm tired. I'm going to sleep another hour." It's like your dream doesn't sleep. Do you see what I'm saying? You you have to make things happen. No excuses in this process. And the page of pentacles indicating Things are not going to be as easy as you thought or as easy as you would have hoped for. However, if you do put energy and effort towards it, there's major potential and expansion for you for the month of February going into uh, this whole year of 2022. But it's about, and I keep hearing, stop procrastinating. So whether it's relationships, whether it's trying to figure out, are we going to become something? If you've been with them for five years and at this point, they're still not giving you uh, the commitment that you want, start creating boundaries. This is what I want. Let me know what it is that you want. If we can meet halfway, we'll continue. And if not, let's not waste each other's time. You're doing a disservice to yourself and a disservice to the partner or person you're with if you're allowing them to think that you're okay with being in a non-committal relationship. For others of you, this could be in career and finances. If you've been at a company or at a job and they keep working you, they keep pushing your limit, but they're not giving you incentives. They're not giving you a raise. They're not, you know, it's time for you to start speaking up cancer. That's what's going to be the change. That's what's going to create the change for you guys, not only for February, but again, throughout this whole year of 2022. I want to wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.